Um, so I'm back at the doctor. So this is week six or seven that I've had a cough. Are we going into week seven? And um, last time I told you that they gave me a whole arsenal of things to try and none of them worked. So nothing has touched the cough. I still don't sleep at night. Um, coding, Tylenol of codeine gives me like maybe an hour, maybe two. We've tried essential oils, humidifiers, you name it, we've tried it all. So they've determined that maybe it's, remember my nasty tongue? I'd show you again, but then you guys might really judge me harshly. Not. Just kidding. <laughs> the hairiness. <laughs> um, but so I've had this like yeast infection pretty much the entire time, like since the very beginning. And so today, Holly, my nurse practitioner was like, hey, do you think it could be just this overgrowth of yeast? I have like extreme dryness. I can't, I'm staying hydrated, but I'm not, I'm dry, so dry. I can't get anything up. It's down deep and I, I'm getting a lot up, but it never goes away. It never stops. So they are having me do a seven day <laughs> IV fluconazole transfusion, IV transfusion. So every day I have to go in for an hour to transfuse um, some antifungal <coughs> meds into me <coughs> to try and stop the cough that nothing else is, is touching. So, and my sweet, sweet, beautiful sister is here she's amazing and she's taking care of me and has been letting me try to sleep and rubbing my feet with essential oils and everything i don't know if i could do it without her and so many other people that keep swooping in and taking my kids and helping fix helping me on my journey i don't know what fix means sorry I can't think properly. I haven't slept for months. <laughs> so I'm a little crazy. And there's no brain tumor. Weird. <laughs> but um, they're really excited about the shrinking of the tumor. And she read it to us. And they said that there were a lot of good things said on the CT scan. Because we did it even without contrast. But they could see even without contrast that... Um, that conformity was better which was like a good sign and then that everything had the one that they could the really big one has shrunk so so many little blessings and they all expect me to be in a lot more pain and so they're all like I don't know how this keeps happening that you're still okay I do get like a stabbing headache because the coughing is so violent it causes a intracranial pressure is that what she called it like an increase in pressure in my brain so like I'll get this stabbing headache right here for just a few seconds and then it goes away and I have some ribs that feel a little like out of joint because the coughing gets so violent but and my face looks terrible but that's okay that's the least of my concerns at this point <laughs> anyway.